congratulations on the movie and it really feels like we've seen a lot of superhero movies after recent years but this feels like so different to anything else out there i just wondered how far you'd agree with that yeah. with with i mean there's been a lot of discussion about that obviously and i think uh i mean i can't speak for everybody but i certainly love that it's just uh it's just a superhero that not only incorporates the diversity of the cast that's inherently written in but it's also a superhero movie that is a coming of age story as well and i think that universal theme that ties it together people hopefully will love coming to the cinema to get that and the spectacle yeah Mm. And your character, uh, Jason, at one point says, you know, we're all screw-ups as well. There's that idea that kind of anyone can be a superhero as well. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Yeah, this, this is yeah, definitely talking about imperfect superheroes. I mean, these are realistic teens going through realistic problems that are very, uh, very concurrent to mm -hmm. the modern age and time. So, um, and nobody's perfect out there. I think that's why it resonates with a lot of the audiences, because nobody within us is perfect. We might, so for Zach himself, he might portray or or come across as someone who's very strong and perfect, but he's truly very insecure inside and dealing with different problems. Yeah, also, like, there's no look too perfect, you know? Everybody's definition of what perfection is is different, you know? Like, this hat could be perfect to me, but it could be off to Ludi, you know? Yeah. But that doesn't make it wrong. That doesn't make it something that's less important, you know? Just because it's important to me doesn't mean you know. It's less. And yeah. I, I remember this one time we were on set and there's this mirror. I think you see it in the trailer. This mirror in the bathroom before I break the sink. And the mirror is like suspended up on this wall bracket. And I'm like looking at myself. And I remember Dean came and he was like, that whole thing you said, Ludi, about masks, about people put up social masks. And we just had these five minutes where we were looking at this mirror. And he was like, look into yourself and into Jason. And I suppose it's quite esoteric when I say it, but to have that experience in that five minutes where Dean was just like, who is that person? Yeah. What does he want to be? And I remember when I was younger looking at myself in the mirror, going, like, who the hell am I supposed to be? What mm. am I supposed to do with my life? Like, where do I fit in in society? Yeah, so that was a little, a little experiment. It's almost like sometimes, you know, like when you hit just that, that, that stage in life to where you need to know exactly who you want to be in the next, because it's like you don't have a whole bunch of time to figure that out. So it's like you just hit this wall and then you just be, it's like you send yourself into this whole different bracket of, of thinking. It's just, you know, really exciting to show that in this movie also to where, you know, you see the growth in Jason, the growth in Billy, the growth in Zach, right. Trini and Kimberly, you know, it's really cool. And just briefly to take you back a little bit, um, when you were growing up, what was your own experience of Tony. Power Rangers? Obviously it was such a phenomenon shown yeah. in 150 countries or over that, I think, mm -hmm. and it was Very kind of true, everywhere yeah. at the time, wasn't it? The merchandise and everything. Yeah. What was your sort of own experience and your reaction to being cast, just briefly, each of you. Uh, well, my, I, I actually, uh, my connection with the Power Rangers started before I knew that they were Power, they were Power Rangers, because my first little action figure was a yellow ac or Power Ranger figurine that mom had brought me because I was crying too much a kid, as a kid. Mm -hmm. As you said, I was well-traveled because I got transplanted away from my family <laughs> to another country. Um, and then we each have different connections. Like, uh, RJ always tells the story of him hanging on these fans that are mounted on these wall brackets on the ceiling yeah. and then him flying off and getting hurt. Yeah, we, we broke a few ceiling fans in my day doing <laughs> Power Ranger-like activities. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and I think just each of us, like we were actually from, we grew up in different eras, right? And we're both big fans of the Power Rangers. Mm. Um, but RJ, or no, RJ Dacre. Okay. You never <laughs> RJ, RJ. RJ. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Dacre Montgomery. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Underneath the skin, we're all the same color. Yes. Touche. We're all the same. Blood and red. Blood red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't really watch it. That's what Ludi was alluding yeah. to. But I, so I kind of had to find a connection in what a superhero is meant to be. I, I watched it with my brothers, the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie, a lot entirely too much to be honest here. Yeah. I love that moment when we saw like all the characters in costume and the masks for the first time. What were they like to put on for the first time and also to wear for the fight sequences as well, the brilliant fight choreography that's in the movie? Um, okay, so for the first time we put it on, it's kind of like, that's a real experience because you, you, first we see it, finally it's arrived because it arrived fairly late into the shoot and it, it looks incredible, right? But then you put it on because it's multiple layers. You put on this like skin suit and then this undersuit. It's a real process. The undersuit makes you, it's brown, so it makes you look like, look like a big piece of poop. <laughs> and then um, there's teams around you. Once they st start strapping on the armor, 
the, the more they the more they strap on, the the better it looks, but the worse it feels because it's really constricting and everything gets hot and cold at the same time. Your blood vessels are getting cut off. But it's really when you put the mask on and you're like, that's incredible. I feel like a superhero. Um, and and then actually um, doing action in it is quite constricting. But the more you move in it, the more it warms up. And with our, actually with our stunt team, they had these modify suits too that are a little bit more flexible. So for the stunts that we couldn't or weren't safe enough to do ourselves, um, our stunt team was incredible. Like they were doing stuff that we couldn't even imagine in those suits. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey you guys!